What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your score here, bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay, and this is on the DLC map Vertigo, playing multi team kill confirmed. And this was a pretty good game for me, not the best in the world. As you see, I'm using UAV, Guardian, Sentry Gun. And um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, PS, the PS4 and some news that came out. It's been out for probably a week now, maybe. But I just want to touch on this topic because a lot of people want to know if they will be able to use their capture card with the PS4. Now, with the PS3, there was... HDCP, which is High Bandwidth Digital Contact Protection. So, that means you can't record uh, through the HDMI port on the PS3. They want to prevent copyright with high definition videos and stuff like that. And on the PS4, when they revealed it, there was no AV slot. So, the only way that you would be able to hook up your PlayStation is through HDMI. So, that got a lot of people worried that there would be no uh, possibility for them recording if the HDCP was still on the console. But, uh, PlayStation came out and they rushed and worked on it really hard. And said that we will be able to use third party uh, capture card devices on the PS4. Now that means that um, the Elgato Game Capture HD, the Pog uh, Game Capture 2 th will work. But there is some news uh, circulating around saying that these uh, features of recording will not work on launch day. Now, uh, they will be up later, but they wasn't for sure if it was going to be launch day or not. So, we will be able to record, but we don't know when. They will have to give out that um, information at a later time. Now, basically, uh, we'll be recording in like 1080p, I guess. With if you have one of those capture cards that record like that, uh, we will be able to hook it through the HDMI slot. Uh, it won't have no converters like the PlayStation 3 that I have to use the AV in when I record my gameplay. It will all be through the HDMI cables. This will keep a lot of, I know with the Hapog, there's a lot of cables. Definitely not the gaming. If you didn't have the gaming edition, there was a lot of cables on the hub hog. So that means less cables, definitely, and higher definition. Now, the difference between 720p and 1080p is not a huge difference, but you can tell that there's a difference. There's some colors that just doesn't look as good. So there is a difference, and you will probably notice it some, but it's not its not a huge deal, because if you look at uh, PS3 gameplay and Xbox 360 gameplay right now, you can't really tell. Uh, a lot of YouTubers uh, go with the Xbox 360 because of the HDMI and no HDCP. Now... I can get at the reasoning for PlayStation doing this. Uh, the PlayStation 3, the they have Blu-ray disc, and you would be able to pirate movies. Say you bought uh, a new movie coming out, and you could record it easy. Netflix. I'm not sure how that would work, but it seems like they would be able to record it just as good as anything else. So you won't be able to get that one month free trial and record it and sell it. I mean, I don't know how it works, but that's that's the reasoning behind it. Is it good uh, for the gaming community? No, it's not good for the gaming community. Um, especially if they wasn't going to take that off with the PS4 because without any videos going on YouTube, where is the gaming community? 
do we even have one? I would I would say we wouldn't have a PS3, a PlayStation Nation. We wouldn't have that kind of gaming community. And all the gameplay you'd see would be from the Xbox One. But they took it off, and that's a big deal uh, for all the PlayStation users because obviously they want to stick with their console. And um, when I heard about it not being able to use my Elgato or any other third-party capture device, it kind of wanted me to go to the Xbox One because I wouldn't want to have a hundred and fifty dollar capture card that I couldn't use with the new next gen systems so that was leaning me towards uh, getting the Xbox one but now that I heard this news I will definitely be getting the PlayStation 4 at a cheaper price and no connect so good news for that front and GTA 5 has came out guys I'm sure everyone has heard it seen it wanted to play it and I'm just going to let you guys know, it's amazing. I got it, release day. I uh, didn't pre-order it, got it from Kmart. <laughs> got a poster. And I've been playing it, still haven't beat the campaign. I've been screwing around a lot. But there's, I'm probably going to do a let's play of it. I really want to, but it'll be on my other account. So I won't have to like completely restart the game. I'll just play it over again. I've already played through most of the missions. I don't think that will be a big deal because I really want to do some different stuff through the missions. Try to do it in a different way than I done it the first time. Especially on those assassination missions. If you've seen any of them with um, Lester and Franklin. Uh, by the way, Franklin is probably the best character in any video game ever. So, he's really cool. And those assassination missions are just fun. Uh, yeah, so, that might be going up. I've been playing a lot of Grand Tris well, not a lot, but I've been playing Grand Trismo 5. Uh, getting hot for the Grand Trismo 6 release day in December to sometime. One, uh, look at this. I can't, I can't get more than three there. Look at, what was I aiming at that guy over there? But, yeah, uh, Gran Turismo 5 is really fun. And, also, got on last night, played two matches of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And, after like a week of not playing, weirdest feeling in my life for a video game. I was on a 10 sensitivity and it felt like I was on a 30 sensitivity which isn't even possible I mean my aim was like a hundred foot off I, I wasn't doing anything I mean I, I could still go positive because I just hid kindly most of the game but I couldn't rush at all because my aim is as bad as my aim here if you see this this that's how bad my aim was last night but yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this and if you ha aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. 39 and 12. Bye guys.